This is house on 108 John Pot in Fort's Colony, Williamsburg. It is a hot foreclosure listed at 289. The house is roughly 2300 square feet. Uh, the exterior is all wood. It's wood siding with uh, wood windows that need a lot of attention. And those are single pane windows. So windows would have to be replaced very soon. There's a lot of uh, issues with the trim, which should be easy to replace, but uh, it's not like you could just paint it. It has to be replaced. This is just peeling paint from the trim. Could be scraped off and repainted. There's uh, lots of rotten wood on the house. Also, project that somebody has to take on. Not a big deal, but nobody will do that for free either. Old light fixtures. Uh, basically, paint is peeling all over the place. Siding looks decent. Uh, some trim has uh, carpenter bee damage. That's the back of the house. It's got nice screened in porch. And that's the backyard. It's kind of uh, sideways sitting towards the golf course. So there's a golf course view, but it's not a golf course lot. There's a house next door that would be golf course lot. There's a lot of uh, pine straw accumulated on the roof, which shouldn't be a problem. Definitely house needs a lot of attention, but uh, it's nothing that can't be done. This is driveway and the side yard. This is sitting on the corner lot also. Um, I think good feature, side load garage. House has a lot of windows. Uh, back windows are newer. This is the uh, sunroom. Those windows are all new. And that's the side of the house with uh, plenty of bushes for privacy. Let's get inside. Again, rotten wood, a lot of work. So this is a screened in porch. Good condition, well done. Uh, newer doors, it's not like they're brand new, but uh, definitely not as old as the house is. Again, it's got uh, old windows here, and this is window with storm window on it, it's single pane window. We're coming through the back door, straight into the kitchen. Uh, there's no light, unfortunately, but uh, you can probably see everything we need to see. Cabinets are in average condition for the age. There's a guest stove with microwave. Obviously, all those appliances would have to go. Um, countertops are very old. <laughs> Cabinets, I would say, if you refinish them, that's great. If not, you have to replace them. It's not like something you could live with. They are a little banged up and... Not in really good shape there. I would say below average. So let me show you the shape of the kitchen. It has a lot of space. It's kind of awkward layout. It's L-shaped, but I think there's plenty of cabinet space. So that's the kitchen. Bamboo floors throughout the um, space. It does have only one car garage, actually it's one and a half, but definitely you can fit two cars in here with old garage door opener. There is a half bath right off the kitchen. And you have to walk through the bathtub, bath, bathroom to the laundry room. And wash and dryer, and vase. Everything is as is condition. This is hot property. 
they won't be doing any type of repairs or anything. They do put those dehumidifiers in some of their homes. Unfortunately, they turned the power off, so this is not really doing anything in here. Again, single pane windows with storm windows on the outside. That's probably the first thing that has to be replaced. Inside home is in decent condition. It has a beautiful, large family room right when you walk in. Uh, there is a coat closet with a little window in there. That's good. And I think this would be your master bedroom. Beautiful windows all the way to the floor. It's This house has eight foot ceilings, so it's not one of those taller homes. Um, tiles are, I don't even know what it is, but it's it's a tile. Um, vanity was replaced, looks like something fairly new, in decent condition, new mirrors, um, and pretty narrow, but I think doable for the age of the house. Nice closet that needs flooring, but they did some work to it and there are extra shelving. And of course there's no light, unfortunately. There's a skylight, but unfortunately it's all covered with pine straw, I think. Not sure. So again, walk-in closet, decent space. Again, master bedroom. It's not big, but I think it's big enough to put king-size bed with no problems. Again, that's a snapshot of the first floor. And that would be your dining room. All right, let's go upstairs. Or actually, let's go into the sunroom. Sunroom is separated from the house, but it does have heating in here. It is beautiful space, feel very homey and cozy. Large ceiling fan, vaulted ceilings, plenty of skylights, like I said, newer windows, great addition. This is actually a great bonus for the house. It does have three vents in here, plenty of electrical outlets throughout the place. Great addition. Definitely this is one of the uh, best parts of the house. So we're going upstairs. Staircase is located to the back of the house. There is a guest bathroom. Also vanity was replaced. New mirror. Very nicely painted. It does have some uh, water condensation from showers. This should wash off with no problems and it should look really good. Uh, this looks like it's laminate that looks like tiles, but it's laminate. New commode. So it looks like this bathroom was remodeled with exception of the tub. That looks good, but it's original tub. A little linen closet here. Nothing special, but plenty of space for towels. Get another linen closet off the hallway. Bedroom number one upstairs, probably about 11 by 12, maybe 13 feet, with um, double closets with little lights in there. Again, another closet, so plenty of storage space. And then going through the hallway, we're getting into another bedroom. That is much larger, it's probably about, I would say 12 by 14, 15. Again, double closet. It has a dormer in here, so some extra space. And then very, very nice unfinished attic. Beautiful space. You have to walk through the bedroom, but it could be easily finished into a great bonus room. So that's about it about the house. It's not huge, but uh, for the price, I think it's uh, it's a pretty decent buy. There's a lot of work outside. Inside is in much better shape. So I think that's it. Let me know if you like it.